We are learning additional details tonight about the congressional effort to unmask the officials who decided to unmask Americans caught up in government surveillance during the Obama administration. It's the second track of this investigation we've been talking about. It is getting far less coverage or emphasis in reporting of these investigations. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen has the inside story. In a tense meeting at National Security Agency headquarters at Fort Meade last Friday, majority staff lawyers from the House Intelligence Committee received what they considered disappointing answers from the NSA's lawyers about document production in the unmasking controversy. Sources told Fox News the panel's chairman, Devin Nunes, Republican of California, had been seeking NSA's cooperation since March 1st. It's very, very slow. It's a slow process to get uh, the IC to get us all of the documents. And finally, decided after Friday's impasse to move forward with the subpoenas the panel served Wednesday on NSA, the FBI, and CIA. Those subpoenas named as figures of interest President Obama's national security advisor, CIA director, and UN ambassador. Ranking Democrat Adam Schiff of California lamented what he called a pattern by Nunes of secret meetings and unilateral action. I don't know what the chairman has in mind here again because we weren't consulted or why the chairman is picking these three people apart from the fact that they were part of the Obama administration. If there's a problem getting information from the agencies, I'm not aware of it. That problem hasn't been shared with us. The necessity of subpoenas hasn't been shared with us. Yet Schiff's staff later acknowledged to Fox News they had been informed of the unmasking subpoenas on Tuesday, some 24 hours before their issuance. The disagreements underscored the partisan rancor that has hampered the panel's probe of two intertwined controversies. Allegations that the Trump campaign colluded with the Kremlin in last year's election and allegations that Obama aides improperly unmask the names of Trump associates from coded intelligence reports and then leak the data to the news media. In our Washington world today, Republicans want to focus on the unmasking and Democrats want to focus on the collusion. And what we have is, is only a Senate committee and the FBI who are really focused on trying to find the whole picture. And as of now, the panel has no witness interviews lined up. The NSA told us it has provided significant information to the House panel. President Trump, meantime, tweeted today that the big story is the unmasking and surveillance during the Obama administration. Brett? James, thank you.